What's up everybody, it's Anna here and welcome to Let's Talk About Siege. In this series we're taking up subjects, tips and tricks that might help you improve your skill in Rainbow Six Siege. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so initially we'll be talking about leaning. I'll be using this Alibi Prism as my target. Uh, the normal leaning will be the just tilt to the left, uh, like walk as you peek, dudes. The basic one. If you don't do this already, I really recommend you doing it as it makes, uh, like, you're much less exposed. The enemies are gonna have a much harder time shooting you. Now, you can improve the normal leaning method a little bit. If you're using hold, I recommend you, or if you're using toggle, I recommend you using hold. Because then you can do this. You can peek as, the, like, as you are tilting to the left. This is much faster. We'll do the, both the animations at the same time, making you a much, much, much more difficult target to hit. Okay, so right after recording this, I went and streamed, and I got a clip that shows quite well exactly this type of peeking. So I'll uh, look, like put it in right here. She's probably gonna repel in in like five seconds. What the, what the hell is this round? Uh, Kali's still on the roof. Uh, you can imp uh, like improve on this even further by doing this. You can lean to the left and then instantly to the right if you're gonna peek like this, like the example. So lean to one side and then go back with the other one. This results in your character doing a little right bob, and or like in this case a left bob and then into a right bob. Uh, after the shot has been taken, you instantly go right. This will result in a faster animation back and some of your head will go instantly behind cover, making you even more difficult to shoot. So I'll, I'll, I'll like show it again. Just go left and then instantly right. This is why I recommend using hold by the way, because this is much more comfortable. I need, as you can see here, I need some practice on it, but yeah. This is much better, as it, it, it like, it, it makes it, uh, it makes you a much more difficult target to hit, and it's better. Now you can improve on this even further, but using crouching like this, as well as the normal method. Uh, like, in general, I recommend you using the second one, or maybe the third one, because uh, at least in the beginning, because it can be super difficult to do. So yeah, until you've improved, here's the next steps. Okay, so next up we're going to be talking about what's called crosshair placement. So crosshair placement is basically where you are currently aiming uh, like with your crosshair, obviously, right? Uh, now crosshair placement is really important in this game because this is about like finding the headshot angle before you peek. Knowing that like if you aim at the correct height you don't have to adjust your aim and you only have to rely on your reaction time which will always be faster than just relying on your aim and your reaction time. Now practicing this can be very difficult but I recommend doing exactly what I'm just going to show here. I'm going to be playing a T-hunt and uh, playing through this T-hunt you'll have to notice where my crosshair is. Alright so I recommend House T-hunt Classic because this is like the baseline for uh, aim practicing. It's fast, easy to set up etc. I recommend shooting up the door before you run up there either with your ability or with your gun and then reloading so you can keep like max stockpile of ammo. Now you want to keep one tapping as best as you can, because uh, one tapping uh, tells you that you have been doing something right, and you're not missing the headshot. Try to keep your gun up at lighter head height, and I noticed this guy a little bit too late, but yeah, it's fine. Um, try to keep your gun up at head height. That way, you reduce the time it takes you to aim at the target, because you don't, ha or you only have to take in account the horizontal aim, not the vertical one. Uh, I recommend using different guns, not just one, but like. Uh, changing up the gun so you have like not just good aim with one operator in case you like want to feel the difference and stuff. Uh, run around the map, try to clear it out as fast as you can. I recommend also moving up to higher difficulties as you progress because uh, like not realistic but harder difficulty is much better to practice on instead of normal like I'm doing now. <sighs> yeah and uh, that's about it. You just have to take into account that you can do this. You, can, you might mess up. But yeah. This is a good way to practice out the crosshair placement, and I recommend everybody doing this. Okay, so in our last video, or last part of the video, we'll be talking about barricades. Now, barricades on your side will be looking something like this, right? And if you don't know what barricades are, barricades are hold F on any open door or window, and you can barricade them as a defender. Now, on your side, you'll be having the yellow bars, and barricades are broken with three melee hits, like this or two melee hits and then bolts. They'll look like this on the opposite side, right? So remember, if you see the yellow lines on your side, the barricade has been barricaded from inside this room. 
If not, it's on the outside of this room. Now, I'll show you a video of me one-shotting a barricade, because you can also one-shot barricades instead of the three melee thing. This does not work on doubles. Just FYI. This does not work on double uh, doors, like this. Because then if you tri triple melee hit it, because then you'd need three planks. This is not encouraged enough for, like, this is not sufficient to vault. Uh, there's some other things that you can do. As an attacker, you often end up, and this is a mistake every rank does, mag dumping, which is... I should open the the door. Now this leaves me with somewhere about like 8 to 15, 16 bullets left in my magazine. And now I have to reload. This is the mistake. I have to reload because I shot open a door. Now the second I reload, a defender has the opportunity to peek me. Because he knows that I only have 5 bullets left. Uh, the way that you can counter this is by shooting and almost breaking the barricade. Reloading. And re-peeking. And then doing your job. Now, the, the obvious disadvantage with this is that the defender knows that you have half prepped the window and it's going to be prepared for you running in instantly. And they might also try to take the advantage uh, as they know that you're going to be reloading if you half prep. Now, there are some other things that you can do with barricades. This is I really like. If you melee a barricade like this, and then you shoot out these two, you can crawl under it. So if you shoot down the four bottom planks, you can crawl under it. But another thing that you can do is if you melee it again, and shoot out two planks. So you can melee at the tops out six planks, and you can actually like crouch under it. This makes no sound after the barricade is broken, and they will not hear this sound. That one. So they will not be prepared for you doing it. Another thing that you can do with barricades, which I really like to do, is that you can under prep them. So you can break the two bottom pieces only of the barricade and nothing else. It's still vaultable, as you can see. And you can just run in and shoot. I really like this way of prepping, and I think this is something that everybody should get better at and abusing. But I, I see it a lot in plat, high plat games where people like to abuse this, especially on runouts. So a good example would be, let's say that there's somebody coming on the staircase here. I can wait for them, and the second I hear them, I can just peek them. They're not gonna hear the barricade break. And from their perspective, when they push up, they're gonna see the barricade, and they're gonna start turning around to this way. Turning their backs to this, where you can just run out. And you, uh, the second you see their head, you can pop. Okay, there's another aspect that we have to take into account for. So, windows. Windows will look like this, from the opposite side, and this on your side. Now, you can prep windows as well, but you can break them like this. One shot, and then vault. If you do this, uh, also have in mind that when you melee a window, the sound on the other side will be amplified a lot. So they'll hear you pretty well. So if you step like this, they'll hear you from the outside. But the advantage of this on windows is when you look, when you see this, this is what it looks like for them. Because you can vault this window because I prepped it from the outside. Nobody's going to be able to like spot it unless they see the vault button. That's the only way they can see it. Unless they obviously hear, and it will also be very clear sound if you melee it, and uh, yeah, like uh, they'll hear it for sure if they're close. So yeah. Okay, so that was three tips for you to improve in Siege. I'll make some more videos like this with maps, operators, and I also have some other tricks up my sleeve. Um, so stay tuned for that in the future, and until next time, have a good one. Bye.